Oh, hi there. I'm Nigel Thornberry, and welcome to Natural Habitats. The promenade dance is one of the most important rituals for the human species. It occurs only once a year during the springtime, and today I will be on the trail of two males and two females as they prepare for this important event. Come on, let's go. It's the day of the promenade. I'm here in the female's den. She's about to awaken from her long hibernation to prepare for the big night. Look. There she is. Now properly attired, the female prepares for her morning run. She will jog or fast walk up to 10 miles in search of proper food and nourishment at the top human speed of 28 miles per hour. Now, she returns to her home. Having gathered the proper food, she assesses its caloric and nutritional value, as well as its vitamins and minerals. She finds, however, that she is dissatisfied. She will instead drink copious amounts of water throughout the day in an effort to decrease her caloric intake. The female now begins to partake in a strange morning ritual involving stretching and grunting noises. She will do this until the arrival of another female. And here comes the other female now. From my judgment she appears to be about 17 years old. She has some interesting colouring in her hair. She's about to open the door and enter into the other female's den. And here she is. They exchange a traditional greeting and go inside. The footage you are watching now is extremely rare. The females appear to be adding some sort of coloring to the extremities of their fingers, presumably in an effort to attract a mate. While this process may seem trivial, it can take hours. We now enter the den of the male. He awakens. He is now doing some common stretching rituals in order to prepare for finding his female mate. Females began to decorate their hair, a process that will occupy the next several hours. Meanwhile, the first male is greeted by his companion. They exchange the traditional greeting. Yeah, probably will do. And the girls are still doing their hair. Meanwhile, the males engage in a special bonding ritual. Let's observe. It appears that the second male has won. Still doing their hair. As you can see, the males are now engaged in an ancient test of male dominance. Let's look in. The male on the right is celebrating due to his 100 note combo. And the girls are still doing their makeup. Our first male is about to an egg from the rare pygmy ostrich in order to increase his protein intake. Let's watch. Here he goes. Oh, that is absolutely disgusting. Good job, old mate. And now we rejoin the males. Unfortunately, as the liquid flows through their thick craniums, little else does. That's really fizzy. But wait, what's this? The promenade begins in half an hour. Oh. Holy oh, go, 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 go. <sighs> 
All right, sorry about that. Next, the two male Homo sapiens approach the female's lair. They quickly realize that their vehicle has a very primitive scent. They must clean it if they want to stand any chance of impressing the ladies. At this point, right. they're ready to have a yabba dabba do time. One might say, a gay old time. The males approach the doorway, dressed in their finest furs. Here they are greeted by the matriarch of the clan. At first, she is quite reluctant to give up the females. However, upon closer inspection, she realizes that these two young males are fine, strong specimens, and worthy of, that of her daughter's hand. The females soon come upstairs, drawn to the strong male pheromone. As they look into the female's eyes, I'd imagine it was like the first time that I heard the Beatles. I believe that by raising their ten digits, the males are showing approval for their dates. They now approach them cautiously, for the very first time. As they do this, the matriarch gathers them together to take something for posterity's sake. A photo painting, if you will. What a beautiful smile, male number one. It's customary for the male to carry the female's skirt, so we can see her ankles. The males slowly escort the females down the stairs and to the vehicle. It seems that male number one is quite eager to get his date into the car. Easy there. Hold up. Ah, that's the ticket. Whoa! Easy there, tiger. Female number two joins her in the back seat. However, gingerly. Huh, ginger. How ironic. How droll. That bloke closes the door. A kiss for good luck. And we're off to the races. What a fascinating experience we've had here today. I'd like to thank my sponsors and my mum. This has been Nigel Thornberry. The Promenade. What an adventure. Wouldn't you want to go?